Big developments today in campaign 2022. Themis Claritis has her eye on something other than the governor's office. The former House Minority Leader wants Senator Richard Blumenthal's job. Our chief political reporter Susan Raff spoke with both of them today as this campaign season gets underway. Susan. A bit of a surprise certainly this weekend when we heard that Themis Claritis was switching gears. Now, as you know, Richard Blumenthal has been a U.S. Senator since 2011. He's on a number of important committees and is considered one of the most liberal members of Congress. Themis Claritis says, however, that his policies are out of step with many Americans. I'm hopeful that we're going to make progress. He's one of the most visible politicians Connecticut has ever had. And at 75, Richard Blumenthal has no plans to quit. He's seeking a third term. We have a bipartisan coalition. Blumenthal is popular with Democrats. He remains the highest vote getter in statewide elections. But over the weekend, a new opponent emerged. Themis Claritus said she's no longer interested in running for governor, but plans to take on Blumenthal. Claritus was the House Minority Leader for six years. She was the highest ranking woman in the state legislature. Her switch, however, comes just days after Bob Stefanowski announced his run for governor, and he already has 10 million in the coffers. I certainly believe we need a change of leadership in Connecticut still, but we need a change in Washington just, to, just as much. She says Blumenthal has pushed for too much spending, and during the pandemic, He's supported incentives to keep people from going back to work. Blumenthal has had plenty of challengers. In 2016, it was Republican Dan Carter. Blumenthal won by a landslide. Maybe the toughest opponent was Linda McMahon, the former professional wrestling CEO who outspent him 7-1. to one. What does Blumenthal have to say about another new challenger? Not a whole lot. My focus really is on doing my job and working for the people of Connecticut. There'll be plenty of time later in the year for politics. So it seems mum's the word, at least for now. And coming up tonight at 6, what are the chances Blumenthal could get beat? It's been 40 years since we had a Republican U.S. senator. And what will be the issues voters will want the candidates to talk about? Live's Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.